that Sherlock Holmes never existed. All right, I know he never existed, but forget Conan Doyle. Imagine that Dr. Watson did exist and was a brilliant detective who created Sherlock Holmes himself as a literary device. That's the premise of Without a Clue. Watson, played by Ben Kingsley, is the super sleuth, the one who really solves the crimes. But let's the credit go to Michael Caine, a ham actor and all-round dummy whom Watson has employed to play the non-existent Holmes. Now this device works smoothly and lucratively until Watson becomes jealous of his own creature and the adulation heaped upon him by police and media alike. For the tippling Sherlock Kane is actually so thick that the only question to which he has a ready answer is, what are you going to have? So Watson fires him and attempts to persuade people that he, John Watson, the crime doctor, is the real detective. But nobody takes him seriously and when the Chancellor of the Exchequer, Nigel Davenport, they ran to rather slimmer chancellors in those days, insists on hiring Holmes to solve a dastardly crime, Watson must swallow his pride and nip down to the boozer, where Holmes is doing what he does best, knocking it back and pinching the bottoms of passing females, and offer him his job back. And this done, the game is afoot. Believe it or not, I am every bit Holmes's equal as a detective. <sighs> Dr. Watson. Ha ha! I happen to know that you recently recovered from an illness. That you smoke a pipe. Um, Probably, uh, Rosewood. And you spent time in China. Sorry, Doctor. Uh, this is sir. no time for parlor games. No, I'm not playing Doctor. parlor games. This is a matter for professionals. you got to help me. This is too big man. Holmes, you're back. So good to see you. Mine. This is a clever disguise. A drunken lout. It's very realistic. There's too much. Uh, this woman said I pinched her. She said I pinched her. It's a bum. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sherlock Holmes. Ah, the Strayed. It's good to see the department's letting you out at night again. Lord Smithick. Trouble at the Exchequer. Well, to be honest, it... Wait. How did you know? The same way that I can tell you've recently recovered from an illness, smoke a pipe, probably rosewood, and have spent some time in... China. China. Amazing! Thank you. Now, behind the crime lurks, of course, Professor Moriarty, played by Paul Freeman, and also involved in it is a mysterious young woman, Lisette Anthony. A lot of promise in all that, you might think, and you would be right, but at last the promise is never quite fulfilled. Ben Kingsley seething with exasperation at the idiocy of his creation and Michael Caine, an amiable buffoon who only comes into his own at the end, are good value. But after a bit, the basic joke wears thin and the plot takes over from the characters, which is a shame because it's not really a very good plot. Without a Clue is based on a nice idea, but as Stanley Kubrick has said, you can't make a film out of an idea alone. You need a strong story and a strong script. And it's in this area that Without a Clue falls short. And so now to a roundup of the top ten films in America.